have two pens with me that I'm going to review. I have a Cross Dubai and a Jinhao X750. The Dubai is in a lovely cerulean blue, and the Jinhao is in a matte black. I'm going to start with the Cross first. This is a Cross Dubai. Um, I picked this one up at Staples on special. It was regular $35, and it was on sale for $15, so I'm like, eh, why not? Um, comes in a medium, well, this one came in a medium nib by default. Very nice pattern. Uh, the nib. Get a better view of that. Yeah. There we go. Basically a rib pattern design all the way through. It's got cross on the bottom. Now, it's a very nice pen, however, one thing that really just drives me absolute nuts is this cap right here. I t have huge hands, so I tend to like to put the caps on the back of my pens to write with them. However, this thing does not lock whatsoever. It just flips off with ease, and it's really annoying, because when I write with it without the pen, it's a little shorter than I like, and it just kind of bugs me a lot. Um, in terms of the filling system, it comes with a short cartridge, and ooh, it looks like I'm almost out. I have noticed how much it wrote. Um, it does not fit a converter, unfortunately, the barrel is too small, but it might be able to fit one of the larger sized, um, cartridges to refill. It cannot be converted into a dropper. I have just recently finally got rid of the stain on my middle finger, but the seam between the nib and the, um, let's see, the seam between the nib and the rest of the pen is really, does not work for the dropper. It, my, uh, I tend to hold my pen with a fierce iron grip, so whenever I'm leaning like this, there tends to be ink that lakes right over here. Even with the cartridge in, I had that problem, but it's not as bad anymore. I probably had some still left over from the drop test. Um, but the nib itself, I really like. It's a very nice, smooth... Um, smooth flow. I don't have a problem with ink flow in there. I've only tried a couple of inks. I've tried the stock ink, and I've also tried... I've got Noodler's Blue in here right now, but since I'm almost empty, I get to pick something else out. Yay! Uh, but ink flow is really nice. Um, overall, it's probably definitely not a pen that I would have paid $35 for. Um... I'm only keeping this around as everyday carry until I find something else to replace it. But, um, I just, it's okay for a beginner pen. But it's just the cap. just really freaking annoys me, and I've already lost it. But it's a very heavy, solid weight. It's even better with the cap on, but, I mean, of course I've already worn one over that. Um, uh, I've looked over the website of Cross, and I've seen a few pieces that I've probably might try in the future if I have the money. Um, but overall, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, yeah. That's what I got for the Cross Dubai. And we'll move on to the Jin Ho. Sorry, cat was begging me to be fed. Alright, moving on to the Jin Ho X750. I love this pet. It, I got it at uh, Goulet Pens. I think it was like nine fifty or nine ninety or something like that. Really fantastic piece. This is the one that I got introduced to by the other person who is into pens as well that dragged me into this hobby. Um, the cap sticks on and stays on, and it makes a fantastic weight, and it's nice and hefty for somebody with hands like mine. Um, it comes in, I got the matte black version, but it comes in silver and in what is lovingly referred to as sparkle. 
It's like a metal flake. It's got glitter. Basically, it's a shiny black with like glitter and flake all over the barrel. And I just spilled some ink all over my pen. And because I grabbed the nib because I'm smart. Alright. Okay. And it comes with a converter filling system, which is pretty cool. This one also cannot be converted into a dropper. For the same reason as the cross, this seam right here will leak. I bought this in a medium uh, nib, and I just love these ornate nibs right here. Let me show you this one. I know in a previous video I said it was a freaking dragon. It is not a freaking dragon. It is a horse-drawn cart because I was tired and I thought things were what they weren't. But, let's see. We're getting there. And there we go. Perfect. Well, it's a bit. Yeah. Okay, that one needs to go away. Let's see. Let's try and get this. There we go. Somehow, a horse drawn cart with this freaking awesome etching that I love. It's cool. The nib is also really freaking large. If you compare it to the cross. one is freaking huge. Which, you know, it's cool. And I also tend to lean my finger on this side very hard so I don't tend to touch the comb as much with this one. But, I got this one in a medium nib. It also comes in fine by default, but uh, whatever you prefer. But the I really love how this one feels as well. I've got Noodler's Ottoman Rose on this one so far. It's very smooth, and I just love it a lot. But, definitely a big winner for me because of the weight, the size, and the feel. It's just like you know you have something nice and fancy in your hand, but it only costs 10 bucks, which is just phenomenal, especially for people who like pens a lot, but don't really, can't really afford the $70 Twizbees and the uh, Pelicans and Sailors and all that. I will get there eventually, but not at this point. And that is what I have. Whoop. Kind of leaking everywhere. I should probably stop touching the nib. That is what I have. This has been another episode of Odin Right Shit featuring the Cross Dubai. And the Jinhao X750. I have links down below to show you where uh, you can get these if you want them. Um, I'm not sure if Staples still has the cross. You probably have to get that one in store. Um, online, I think it's still full price on the actual uh, cross website. But you guys will check it out. And yeah, let me know if you guys have any other suggestions, comments, remarks, some things that you want me to do. And uh, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching, and keep going with awesome.